Oh, hello there. Come here. So, for the last six months or so, I've been stuck in semi-isolation. And, um, well, to be honest, it's got me thinking. What have I been thinking about? I've been thinking about the most precious thing in the world. Is it money? Is it oxygen? Or is it cheese? It could be cheese. But it's not cheese. Step away from the cheese, Jonathan. Some may say love or hope or charity, and of course they'd be right in their own way. But for the sake of this little waffle, I put it to you that the most precious commodity is time. Yes, my friends, time, that abstract concept that can neither be bottled, tied up or nailed to the wall. But time is something we all seem to have had a lot more of recently. Time on our hands, time to make plans, time to kill, and time to think. This extra time that's landed in our laps is an incredible gift. So I've been thinking about time a lot. Let's say, for the sake of argument, that I've been allotted 100 years on this earth in this body. So that's 100 times 365 times 24 times 60 times 60. And that comes to a lot of seconds. But coming back to this isolation period in particular, six months is still a hell of a lot of time. In that time, I could have learned to do this. Or this. Or even this. And if I'd trimmed just one hour off my normal sleep allowance during the last six months, I'd have gained seven whole days. Hold on, that can't be right, can it? Yeah, that's right. Seven whole days and nights. That means, in effect, that I can create time. I can control time. I'm a time lord. Wow. Another thing I've realised is that we don't have to cram this precious time with frenetic activity, running about, doing stuff, jumping up and down, buying stuff, selling stuff, watching stuff, stuffing our tiny minds with too much stuff. The thing is, no matter how much we fill our time, it's still inexorably ebbing away. So where does this leave us? If we have a set amount of time between now and our grand finale, it's up to us, within the physical constraints we find ourselves in, to use the time as we see fit. In a way that makes us feel fulfilled, joyful and useful. From a creative and practical point of view, i found that I work better if I allow a little extra time to let ideas marinate. If I think a job will take two days, I allow three or four or even a week if possible. I still only charge for two days, um, but if I'm not piling deadlines on top of deadlines then it gives me room to experiment, to apply the so-what-if principle. So, what if we did it like this? Or we turned it upside down? Or what if we turned it inside out? If you don't allow yourself the time to give it a go, you'll never know. Maybe you're sitting on a genius idea. Maybe you just need to sit on it a little bit longer to allow it to hatch. If you're in the creativity business, I think you should be having fun and making room for experimentation. We've been blessed with careers that don't force eight hours of conformity on us every day of the week. 
or at least we occasionally have the option to break free from the rigid confines of the commercial grind. This period of isolation has given us a real chance to evaluate things. It's given us a whole heap of time. How we use it is totally up to us, of course. But this time thing is really, really, really precious. I really hope you don't get to the end of the race wishing you'd made a little bit more time just to be you. Of course, I may be completely wrong. Maybe the most important commodity actually is cheese. But only time will tell.